Hello, good people. This is Minyari, the actual Minyari tonight, um, from Ardent Asylum on the server of US2 in the game of Villagers and Heroes. Um, tonight's video is kind of special. It was uh, by request, and basically it is meant to be a primer for newbies, new, new 95s, on how we do things on US2 for the uh, 8 p.m. server runs. Um, and I've got some notes here to kind of explain the fights as we go and what to expect. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to head on over to Blight Bay. Let me check the sound on this real quick. Okay, looks like we got everything is good. All right, so uh, to get to the Zorian Bounty Lands, we're going to go over here and talk to Zithi's father, and he's going to take us there. This is a place that everybody who is uh, 95 is familiar with, uh, the Zorian Marshlands. Now, uh, if you're new, you're going to come up and talk to Zifi, which he's not really going to have anything to say for me, but he'll give you a quest, and you're just going to take accept the quest, and we'll move on. So basically, we're going to come over here. I'm already in a party, because tonight is... Uh, Balak Alistain's uh, first time at running the 95 Zelders. And when you do run the 95 Zelders, as you see our beautiful notes has done, you go stand on the bridge and then someone will invite you to the party. And once you've been uh, accepted into a group, just get off the bridge. So that way everybody knows if everybody, if anybody needs a party, it's, we know it. Uh, this is Retrack. He is our uh, organizer. He has been doing this for well over a year. Every night, 8 o'clock, he handles the server runs. It's a nice service that he does for um, our community, and he does a really good job. Some nights, um, our friend uh, Blade Lindanen or Grace Lindanen, he might be running it, or on some nights, I might be running it. So, um, <laughs> I'm feeling the love. Uh, so basically, we're going to be starting pretty soon. we got six more minutes. So during this time, people just kind of like hang out, and we're waiting for the, the uh, final moment people to kind of arrive. Now, what you want to do here also very important is that you check your character and make sure that you oops check your items your gear and make sure that you are wearing your elders gear your blighted everything with your blight motes and whatnot that gives you crits and protects you from the the evil air because um, if you notice some people don't always wear their your blight gear and their health will just slowly tick away um, like when you first start um, at Oblivion Shores um, that same effect is going on during elders unless you're wearing elders gear like tear he's not wearing elders gear or he might not be wearing the the one rune that stops th that I don't remember what it is I think it's boots Usually there's a lot of uh, emoting and joy happening at this point. It's a pretty uh, chill group. Uh, not a lot of 
drama that I've ever seen. I said one time, but it was kind of done in fun, and it, it, it kind of scarred me because uh, the leader of our guild, Boo, spent the entire run calling Retrack an a-hole, and it was it was funny on some level, but also I, I had no idea because I was new to the guild and I had no idea what the heck was going on, but he's not an a-hole. He's a very uh, good guy. He's a nice guy. So since Balak is new, I, my main focus tonight is going to be on him, and my job is to make sure he doesn't die. Um, and we've explained things. Um, if you do die during a boss fight, then generally the rule of thumb is just stay dead until after the fight is over. And when the fight is over, you'll see your chests kind of slip up to the left-hand corner of your screen on mobile. I'm not sure about how it is on PC, um, but you do get a notification that in that way that it's not, uh, the, the fight has ended. And at that point, accept the res at the spawn point and meet us at the next destination. So basically, um, I'm going to show you this real quick. This is Domo, and he's the quest giver for the first boss. If I click on him, and I can accept this quest. And then you'll see a timer on the right hand side of the screen giving me um, some objectives that need to be met. All right. So I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to cancel the hunt for Baldock. I'm going to say yes, please cancel it. And then no, I'm not going to click yes again. I'm just going to click farewell. All right. Now I'm going to wait because retrack is going to going to be uh, starting this up fairly soon. We got three more minutes and he's pretty, pretty on time with everything. Um, but he'll be explaining the basics like he does every night over and over and over. All right. He says, wait for go. That's a very important thing because if you go too soon, then it kind of messes things up for other people and they don't meet their objectives, like they might not get a marsh dweller or something. Um, no stuns or snares on the poles. Um, there are people who are pullers, you let them pull, and usually those are going to be the mages or warriors, lightning warriors, or any warriors with the, uh, the fast feet. They generally pull, so just let them do their job. Don't use any stuns or snares or anything to break up what's going on because in some cases we can pull groups together and just do mass AOE and smash them quickly. And this is very important for us to get gold chests at the end. I feel like I missed something here. Um, I'm going to talk about trucks later on in the run as as we're going along the way but he is giving a reminder to the healers to be mindful of how they handle themselves during the Hawks fight um, one thing that you need to know is that all bosses basically have the same gift of malloc which means that their health regen and damage is scaled to the number of players they are all bol bolstered, which means that they are immune to stun, snare, slow, daze, or crush. So that is true for all four of the bosses. All of the bosses regen their health rather quickly. Except for Lanix, I think there is a point in his fight where he does not, but for the most part... Um, Everybody regens quickly. All right, so he asks, are we ready to roll? Um, if I click on arranged, arranged um, spell, attack spell, then it pulls up Domo, and then I get the three dots over here where I can talk to him. So I'm going to wait for a retract to say let's roll. He's going to count it down. On two, I'm going to go, and I'm going to talk to Domo. I'm going to click yes, accept, and away we go. I'm going to get Balak in my healing 
thing, and I'm just going to heal, because that's all I do, is heal. Because my DPS sucks, because I'm a healer, and that's what I do. I heal. Now, at some point, I, I feel like I'm talking super fast, and I really don't have any caffeine in me. I'm just kind of anxious for this to go swell. But, at some point, um, retrack will probably like point specifically at certain bosses, and that means that um, a boss is a Templar, and we want to kill him last. So, usually one, either the tank, or retrack, or one of the melee will um, point those things out. And feel free to grab anything that you see. Most people just leave everything. But I'm going to get my one silver and 44 copper. Alright, so he pointed at the Marsh Dweller. That means that one of these bosses is a Templar. And we don't want to, we want to kill the Marsh Dwellers first. five silver. Five silver that time. Got coins jingling in my pocket. Usually when, when I heal, I like to pick a high DPS person, like if I'm in this group, um, I'll target retract mostly so that he gets my divine inspiration buff and he can do more DPS and that makes up for my shitty DPS or lack of DPS period. I mean I try sometimes. It's just not a top priority for me. Retract retract is pointing. And I'm just pressing buttons right now. I'm hoping that my tapping is not as loud because I got a new phone case. My other one was like literally falling off my flight. If I dropped my phone, my case would have went one direction and my phone the other. And that was just not a good situation. So I think my tapping might be a little quieter. Fun fact, if you're Catholic, which I'm not, today is St. Erasmus Day, and St. Erasmus is the patron saint of sailors and uh, liver disorders and um, just basically bowel disorders. All right, so uh, and our, for our guild used to be called St. Elmo's Fire, which is where kind of where that comes from. St. Erasmus was the patron saint of sailors. So anyways, alright, now we're on Baldock. And basically, um, he's a tank and spank. Um, if you get close to him, he does do a, um, if you get close to him, you get a damage increase buff. But if you get too close, then he does an AOE, and the closer you are, the more it hurts. So, depending on, you know, how squishy you are, you might want to stay back a little bit from this guy. But, otherwise, he's pretty straightforward. I'm going to pop a um, mana pot retract.
and that's that. And we got, oops, leave that there. We got gold. And now we just follow the crew, follow the green line. See? Be careful of those trees. If you jump through the trees, you get stuck in the trees. And sometimes you might have to slash die to get out of them. Good times. I think everybody does it at least once, so get it out of your system if you must. Alright, so now, if you're back over here, I'm going to untarget Balak and I'm going to use my range target and I'm going to target Talita. You see the little dots in the right hand corner? When Retrack starts counting down, I will go talk to Talita. I like to go on too, but let me tell you, Jacinda is a tough boss. Um, it's it's We don't always get gold with Jacinda. She's hard to kill, and sometimes it's better to wait until Retrack actually gets to one, and maybe even like a half a beat after one before you um, accept the quest. Retrack asks if we're ready. People give a little thumbs up. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sucking at healing tonight. Alright, here we go. I forgot to take a malice potion. That's something important to do before you start too. Take your um, take your pots, which I do a pie and a pot, and I forgot. So that's probably why my healing sucks so bad. So um, some of these bosses have plague affix, and basically when they die, everybody in the party loses like most of their health. So the healers scramble to get their group heals going. Um, Sometimes they will pull these guys up the ramp, which I like better because it makes the run speedier, um, but not everybody does that. Alright, so let me just start talking about Jacinda real quick. So I'm going to run up here, I'm going to hit some buttons, and I'm going to go give her a punch in the face, just like that. And I'll go ahead and do a little DPS just because. Alright, so let's get ba Balak back under my guard. So <clears throat> you see all these little red circles? Alright, so during the fight, as the fight progresses, Jacinda will clone herself, and she says it, and you can see 
but we have two Jacindas out right now. There's three Jacindas. And at this point, the melee is going to run around to all the little different Jacindas and figure out which one's the right one. Everybody needs to know how to figure out which one is the right one. So basically, what you're doing is watching... I'm going to have to do some DPS. So basically, I'm going to look at the DPS that I do. See the 18.1K? You have the small letters, and then when you crit, you get big letters. Okay, so she just split, and that, well, I'm hitting for 39K now, so that's the wrong one. So now somebody's going to go find the right one, and I'm going to just throw a couple heels out right now. And then they're going to point, and we're going to find the right Jacinda. And since everybody's standing here, like, look for the mob. It's not right. This one over here. And as the fight progresses, see it's less than 19k. Now it's 34. So now it's a new, new different one. Some crap for healing. So 26k, that's not the right Jacinda. So they're going to go find the right Jacinda and then everybody moves over there. And I'm just going to heal for the rest of it and let them do their thing. Um, in my previous video, I did, I did another level ni uh, 95 elders video and I gave some incorrect information so I want to make sure that I correct that now. Um, it says in the wiki that if you damage the incorrect Jacinda, that the correct Jacinda takes on more damage, and that has been disproven. So, but if you are hitting the wrong Jacinda, that means you're not hitting the right Jacinda, so you're not taking her down. And like I said before, this, uh, this one fight in particular is one that um, we often get silver not often, but sometimes we get silver instead of gold. And our goal is always to get the gold. And heal retrack. Ooh, Ollie's here tonight. And we got it. Good job. And now we're going to follow, follow the green line. Don't jump through the trees. I know it's so tempting because it's so fun to do, but don't do it. Now one thing I want you to know too is if I look at the map, you see this um, circle where that green dot is headed toward? That's where the last three bosses are. So if you have to run back, that's where you need to head for, that circle, um, that little hub next to that boss. Alright, I'm going to pop a mana pot real quick. Um, I'm going to untarget Balik. And I'm going to target Tobin. Tobin is going to take us to Hawks. And Hawks is a challenging fight. Priests, holy priests, if you have consecration, it gives you a 30% chance to hear, heal all nearby allies for 50% of your standard damage. And if you have binding faith, you should not be doing any DPS on Hawks while Trox is up. Hawks is going to be surrounded by three minions named Sorok, Nylax, and Trox. I'm getting ready to go. Three, two, I go on two. Yes, accept, and here we go. So, um, Sorok does a stun for six seconds. So while he's up, um, Hawks can stun everybody nearby and it's kind of a wide radius. Now do you see here why we say don't stun because they're, they're doing a pull and somebody stunned those guys and now our DPS is split. So this is why we don't stun or snare during pulls. They will come and join us in just a moment.
So anyways, um, Sorok does the stun. Nihilax doesn't really do anything. He's supposed to do a mana drain, but apparently that's not working. And uh, it's been bugged for quite a while, so um, at the moment he's nil. Nihilax is nil. Trox. Trox is the bad guy. And um, basically he turns heals into deadly, deadly damage. And if you have Consecrate, which is the second spell, uh, the second uh, talent for Holy Priests, um, that gives a 30% chance to heal nearby allies for 50% of standard damage. So basically, you're going to kill them. Um, if you do a mass AoE, um, mass heal, that's very bad because... Uh, you can kill most of your party. Um, if you do restore, that is a heal over time spell, and that will also kill your friends. And for the most part, we're all friends here. We don't want to kill each other, except for Burnaby. I like killing Burnaby. Not really, but we, we pretend. Yeah, basically, um, oh, running into trees. Hello, tree. So, um, when Trox is up, and I'll show you what it looks like when he's up and when he's not, um, Hawks' health regen is increased by 800%, and you healing spells increase damage to you, to whoever you heal. For like 800% so people will just pretty much instantly die now some spells some healing spells are exempt and I'll tell you what they are for a priest I am not sure 100% um, which ones are okay to use for other classes like I know um, like self heals like hunters have their self heals um, but anyway uh, for priests, you can cast Mass Cure, and that's generally what I do. I just kind of spam Mass Cure. Um, you can also cast Bless. Um, I bl believe that gives a small heal. Yeah. Bless um, and Shield. That will... None of those are affected by... Trox's uh, murderous or blood scream. Mortal screech is what it's called. So, the first thing we do when we get to Hawks is kill Trox. And we're not going to kill him dead. He's just going to be kind of like stunned for a little bit. He'll get all he'll turn into like a little cocoon. His wings will fold around him and um, you can tell. Uh, you might have to pin your camera around but get Trox down. Alright, so no more heals after this point. Be careful coming around this bridge. People fall off this stupid bridge all the time so make sure your, your footing is steady. And what I like to do, see that, did you see that big giant heel circle? Stay out of those. Some people don't understand how this boss works, even though they've been told. That would be like too far for me. So what I like to do is go far away from everybody, and Balik's dead. Okay, I did a good job there. I'm just going to pay attention here. Oh, crap. Let's see, even I do stupid things. Did Balak res? No, he did not. Yes, he did. He's just far away from me. Oh crap, I did it again. Sorry. Hope I didn't kill anybody. Please don't die. Please don't die. 
Oh my god, what am I doing? It's like I'm trying to kill people. I didn't do it, Nim. So I'm just going to focus on Balak right now. Um, it's hard for me to show you what Tro where Trox is. He's kind of like purpley colored on the left. And right now he's active, so I don't want to do anything that's going to endanger anybody. And he's dead, so. And somehow I missed. Crap, I'm going to have to go reset. Alright, so this is a lesson on what you do when you make a mistake. So basically we run over here, and like I said, the last three bosses are over here somewhere. I'm not sure where. Where I have to go? Where do I go, retrack? Oh, I see the little green tr triangles. Alright, so we're going to run over to these green triangles. And that was Jacinda, so we want to go to Hawks, who is here, and we're going to cancel this. Cancel the hunt for Hawks. Yes. So long. See you tomorrow. And now I'm going to go and join the group. So somehow I missed the Marsh Dweller. So that sucks for me. Alright, so I'll do my ranged attack so I can pick up Roni. Roni is the... Oh, I forgot to tell you that for the Trox fight, the last 10% of Trox, the minions are invincible, so you just focus your fire on Hawks at the end there. And I hope that kind of covered everything for Hawks. I know that was a lot of information very quickly. Um, the last boss is super simple. Lanix, um, pretty much a tank and spank. The thing that he does is players take 25% of damage dealt. Um, and there is a certain phase, like if you look at his uh, buffs, um, you'll see that he's not regening health during this phase. Um, there's also Bloodlust. Every time he murders a Brindle, his damage dealt is increased by 45% per charge, and there's five of them. Um, his damage taken is reduced by 3%, and his attack speed is increased by 5%. So basically, we want to kill him before he kills Brindles. The more Brindles he kills, the harder he is to kill. Like I said, this is a tank and spank. Use your trinkets. And go hard. Alright, here we go. Three. Go on two. One. And, as a custom on our server, now look, look at what our pullers are doing. They've just pulled two groups into one. That was beautiful pull. Very well executed, and that's what we want to see. So let the pullers pull, and no stuns or snares. And that was beautifully done. And so now just everybody opens up mass AOE. that group over there too which I see and ice wizard has them frozen shame on you ice wizard
Oh, four silver. It's mine. I got it. Bailey is too far away. So Balak did die at <clears throat> at the Hawks fight because I was too far away from him, um, which is partially my fault and partially his fault because he didn't know where I was going to be and I should have stayed closer to him. But because he died early on in the fight, then it was safe for him to res at that time. A lot of times it's just better to not res and to wait until, until the end and res at... Um, where, you, where we spawn at. And for this guy, we just, it's like I said, just a tank and spank. And everybody just uh, burns him down. And I'll, I'll even throw my like 1% of DPS in right here. Because I know my heels suck tonight. Probably because Jag, Jag's not here. I always heal better when Jaggy's here. But you know what? Um, Desdemona's here, and she's an awesome healer. Uh, Grace is probably... The last time I looked, he was at the top of the chart. So, let's see where we're at. Oh, I'm number one. How'd I do that? Because all I do is heal. Grace actually does DPS, so... And uh, Desdemona is a fabulous healer. I enjoy... Uh, raiding with her. Uh, her and uh, Miyoshi are husband and wife and they make a really super team and they're a lot of fun to play with. So after this fight is over, Balik and I are going to type slash die and we're going to res at the spawn point and um, Balak's going to get his dragon and then after he gets his dragon we're going to go to Ardent City where everybody else is going to be waiting for Balak on their dragons and let me tell you something it can be really magnificent when you've got like so many people all all circled around you and the dragons are flapping their wings and everybody's doing like fireworks and beacons and th playing with all the toys and it's very colorful and um, congratulations to whomever is the new 95 or on the block and that's it folks we got gold all the way through except for I missed I missed one but that's okay Everybody's cheering. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to do cheer. Alright, so now I'm also going to die. And this is when Balak should die also. Re revive at the spawn location. Oh, another mana pot. I think I used three mana pots for this run. And here's Balak, our new 95er. He worked really hard at this, and it was really wonderful because I've got to... I've, been able to watch him kind of grow up. I'm sure nobody cares about pygmy goats. And so you just go talk to uh, Zifi and get your dragon. And 
and I'm going to switch my mount already to the dragon. And then we're going to go to um, Ardent City. I know how this game works. Ta-da! Look at that. Isn't that cool? All those dragons. I'm going to sneak back in here. Everybody makes a circle. Got Lil. Let's scoot over so Lil can fit in a little bit. This is a lot. Because everybody loves Balak. I'm going to throw notes a heel. And we do this for all, all of our new 95s on this server. If I could find Balak, I would target him. I can't target him, so I can't cheer. But I will um, do some like fireworks and stuff, because I can do that. I got pink, and green, and teal, and purple, and white, and I've got the holy horn here. Isn't it glorious? Look at that. Everybody comes together. And that's that, you guys. That is how we run 95 Elders on US2. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And I hope that you find this video helpful and informative. And uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, if you see me in the game, just say hi. Send me a message. Whatever. You need help? I'm here. Uh, anybody in my guild is like super helpful. There's lots of helpful people in this game. Anyways, thank you all for joining me and I hope you have a good night.